Good evening, everyone. The town of Cheektowaga now asking the Niagara Frontier Transportation Authority to extend the light rail rapid transit system to the airport. And while many agree that the light rail rapid transit line should be expanded, the debate continues over where. That story tonight from 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley. These are great problems to be having because it means Buffalo is growing again. $90 million worth of development is currently taking place along roughly six miles of rapid transit line in downtown Buffalo. With the new UB Medical School and the expanding Buffalo Niagara Medical Campus sure to pull in large numbers of people, many officials are very anxious to see the rapid transit expanded into the suburbs. We also want to make sure that people throughout the region are able to access employment opportunities as well. So much easier than trying to find somewhere to park, having to pay to park. Cheektowaga has now passed a unanimous resolution calling on the NFTA to consider creating an airport corridor. It would allow transit riders to take the trains from downtown to both the Galleria Mall and the Buffalo Niagara International Airport. This is a project we've been working on for seven and a half years. Town Councilman James Rogowski says the plan makes sense because it calls for using old, unused rail beds to extend the light rail lines. And Rogowski says Says it should not only cost less, but it could get the extension up and running sooner. And let's stop talking and let's start doing. But the NFTA says the idea will not be acted on any time in the near future because it has already identified another more urgent area in need, the Amherst Buffalo Corridor that connects both UB North and South campuses. Because it was identified in a full-blown analysis that was done in 2010 that identified that corridor as the busiest corridor with the most development and the most need of enhancing public transportation. But Cheektowaga warns that not expanding to the airport is a lost opportunity. If we don't do it today and we do it tomorrow or 20 years from now, it might be trillions of dollars. Now the NFTA is also looking at expanding service south from the Cobblestone District by the First Niagara Center and it hopes to know by the end of the year whether extending the Metro Rail or adding bus rapid transit is the best way to expand into Amherst. And even still, it could say seven years until we see that serve service started. At Riley 7 Eyewitness News.